Before we get into this video, I would like to give credit where credit is due. Bentley Coop, DoorDash Diaries, go check out his YouTube channel. He's helped me a lot. I've learned a lot from him and I am still learning some from him. So go check him out. I mentioned him several times in this video. DoorDash Diaries, Bentley Coop for president. DoorDash or Ray Ray here. Got the truck fired up. I'm getting ready to head out for the day, but this video is specifically for the whole high paying priority program. Bentley Coop, my man, he's got videos out on it. I'm gonna do a little video on it. Uh, I'm gonna drop some screenshots in this video. Stay tuned. Here's the deal. Today, I'm at 74% acceptance rate, which is pretty good. So I'm in the uh, priority high paying program. Yesterday I took a lot of, sorry, crap orders. Uh, people still need their food, all right? Uh, a lot of people just don't tip, don't have the money for it. But if you have the money for DoorDash and you have the money to pay for convenience, then you have the money to tip me at least $1, please. Today, I'm going to decline more orders and see what happens. I will show my acceptance rate at the end of the day. I am only at 205 deliveries, lifetime deliveries. So I'm fairly new to dashing. Uh, I'm starting to get things figured out. Things are not always perfect, and they're never going to be perfect. So uh, between the DoorDasher program, restaurants, and dashers themselves, and customers, there's a lot of variables that go into this. Here we go. I'm going to go out dashing for the day. We'll see what happens. I just declined my first order for the day. It was for like $4, 3.7 miles or something like that, Tim Hortons delivery. We'll watch these... Uh, acceptance rate percentages drop and see what happens all right i just did my first order for the day it was 525 for four miles i was sitting kind of far away from leo's coney island orders happen to be a, a little bit more but i had to accept an order i declined three orders already for the day That wasn't too bad. It was a little over a dollar a mile. What you want to be hitting is that dollar a mile plus mark, especially if you're driving a V8. Seems like this area is flooded with DoorDash drivers right now. This video is all about declining orders today. We are declining those uh, three, four dollar orders. My order minimum, I don't really have one because I don't know, I've just been trying to get that, you know, priority access, but it doesn't really make a difference now, does it? Because you're actually losing money on it. We'll definitely see by the end of the day where my acceptance rate is at and what kind of money I made today versus yesterday. This is their new thing. You have to accept more shopping deliveries to gain access to the Dash Anytime program. You can really bypass that by scheduling your dashes way in advance. If you have over so many deliveries. Now I'm still only at 205. I believe Bentley Coop said it's 500 deliveries. Once you get past that, you got access to early scheduling and you can schedule way ahead in advance and you don't ever have to worry about it again. Sitting on the app at top of the hour or 30 minutes past the hour and wait till somebody else drops their schedule and the zone will go red, you can dash now. That's what I did today. I wasn't scheduled to dash until 11, and now I'm out dashing way before that. Tracking progress for the day, it is 11.06. I've taken two dash orders, so that's averaging $6 an order, but um, you know, we all know that'll change. So I'm at the local Walgreens here. Uh, I'm gonna run in and grab something to drink because I am thirsty and maybe I'll get an order while I'm here. Wendy's is hot, Leo's is hot, but there is five, six orders on the counter at Leo's. There's two or three other dashers that hang around there. They sit in that parking lot. I'm not doing that. All right, I just got an order for Pete Away. It's, uh, 
another 675 order for three miles that's a, a high pay order so I'm gonna go do that one and we'll see where we're at after that because I just draw I just denied two deliveries while I was inside the Walgreens grabbing myself to something to drink that would have taken me way up into an area I don't want to be in um, and they were high miles for low pay I'm not doing it so I'm gonna stick to these local ones see how much I can make today and got myself a drink I'm gonna run and do this and check back in after I'm gonna keep you guys on as long as I can today here we go all right i just got that one done that was a really nice one it said it was 625 for four miles really wasn't that far away i've been to this place before um only thing is i assumed i knew where it was at and i pulled in the first parking lot i should have pulled into the second that's my bad but i was still like over 10 minutes early and it said it was only 625 when i got it there Boom. It said a $10 tip and I only got paid like $2 from DoorDash. So that was a $12.75 order. And it only told me it was only six something at first. So you will get rewarded if you're fast and you are in the right location and you're friendly and you take those orders that looks like it's only $6, but it says high pay order take it because sometimes they hit you with that boom customer gave me ten dollars that's awesome thank you so much amazing pete away i'm about to blacklist you because you guys are so slow and a little girl with an attitude there that she doesn't want to do anything but what she wants to do i don't say anything back i don't give her attitude i just wait there wait for my order but you guys need to pick it up pete away and grand blanc pick it up like make sure these doordash orders are getting filled filled correctly i don't want to have to stand there and watch you say yeah it needs a side of rice and then go and start prepping other food for other orders other doordash orders like come on you could have filled that rice in two seconds i could have been out of there five minutes earlier it didn't matter i got my pay i'm happy doordash restaurants you guys, please prioritize those DoorDash orders. It helps us make money, helps us make tips. We're all happier in the end and lose the attitude, all right? None of us need that. I don't care if you're the manager or not. I don't need that. That's just negativity in my day I don't need. Stay positive, Dashers. Stay on them. Get those high priority orders. Get them. I don't care what you gotta do. Decline your first three, four orders if they're all like two, three, four dollars. Decline them. This is working. So this is an example of a high pay order that I rejected because it's only 425. That's really not high pay. And I had to come way out of this neighborhood to get out of there. Yes, I reject that one. I don't want it. My very next one is this one here, 725. But this one coming up, there was a problem with this one. Watch. Strip is hot. All right, it is now 110. I was going to say 109. It is 10 after 1. Uh, lunch rush is just starting to cool off a little bit. Um, so far, the whole declining. What I want to decline is, uh, uh oh. I had an order from Tropical Smoothie and usually they're slow. Going through like a revamp on their store. They're, they got all new employees in there, new management. They were closed for a day or two in a row. I didn't know what was going on. Obviously it's under new management. So a bunch of kids working in there, that's okay. They forgot a whole half of the order. It was a sandwich and fries. And 
Yeah, that, that sucks, because I got the order all the way out to the customer. Everything's on the slip, okay, got it, I'm gone. They are supposed to check the order, but my duty as a dasher is to check and make sure everything's there. I didn't forget the cookie. I didn't see the cookie in the bag. I was like, hey, there's a cookie that goes with it. They said, you're right, put that in there. I figured we were all good, I'm out the door. No, I delivered it to the customer. They were all happy and everything. Yeah, sweet. I leave the customer, which they were working at another store, that's fine. I leave the customer and I get a message saying there's half the order is missing. So I'm like, all right. So I tried calling Tropical Smoothie, they didn't even answer. I tried, or I called Dasher Support. They answered and got me through it and everything. Said she was refunded her money, but that's not good enough. That is not good enough. Somebody did not get their lunch and they are out here working hard just like I am serving people and that's not an easy thing to do that is the hardest job to do is to serve people so i went back to the store they made me another sandwich and the fries and i took it out to the customer she gave me a five dollar tip i didn't want it but she insisted i told her just leave me a review that's that's all i asked for just leave me a nice review but she was so happy people just go above and beyond and people will be so much happier trust me that's a way that you can make it right. The girl at the Tropical Smoothie store said, well, she was refunded, so in a way it's already right. I said, no, somebody did not get their lunch, so it's not right. Is that right? No, it's not right. So they made me the sandwich for free. I took it back to her. Dasher Support was contacted and aware. I paused my orders. I got her the sandwich. Good day. Good day. Another tip for you guys. I don't know if this affects everybody like it does me, but stop driving like this because it puts your shoulder in a weird position and like you kind of sit here and let your shoulder sag. I don't know, I've been getting this like tendonitis from driving like that. It's just habit me throwing my hand up on top of the wheel. It's safer to drive with your hands on the side of the wheel anyways, but you know, so I've switched to doing this here and you know, it's just a little ergonomics thing. This is Tuesday, the day before. I don't know what my acceptance rate started at for that day, but it was probably around 72% and obviously ended with 74%. My active time, that's time making deliveries, was 3 hours, 10 minutes. Dash time was 6 hours, 28 minutes. My grand total for Tuesday was $96.54. Today, Wednesday, Active time was 3 hours, 16 minutes. Dash time, 6 hours, 28 minutes. Now that is almost exactly the same time dashing as Tuesday. My grand total is $103.14. That is an increase of $6.60 from the day before. Now I did 14 deliveries on Tuesday and 13 deliveries Wednesday. With one less delivery on Wednesday and about the same time dashing, I made 7 more dollars. That doesn't seem like much, but one less delivery for more money and less miles can really add up over time. Everyone talks about dollars per hour, but really you should focus on dollars per mile, and that will always be on an order-by-order -order basis. You have 30 to 50 seconds to make a decision if you want to take the order or not, and here's my ratings dropped from 74% to 67% still above that 50% requirement for the high pay priority program. Last tip that I'm gonna throw out here for this video, two o'clock to four o'clock p.m. during the weekdays, that's a good time to just go home, relax, take a good long break if you've been dashing all morning through all the lunch rush and stuff, get ready for your dinner dash if you're gonna do that. So the reason that's a good time is because all the buses are coming out, you know, got all the kids coming out of school. They're stopping every 50 feet. You got all the parents trying to get home or get to the schools and pick up their kids and get dinner. Everybody's mad, pissed off on the roads. It's a really bad time to be on the road. It's a good time to get in an accident. And it, you know, just a good time to 
go home, relax. Had some interesting things happen today while I had you on the ride along and just learning new things every day. Man, DoorDash is, is more than just food delivery. It's an experience for sure. And I've heard Bentley Coop mention it several times. It's serving your community. If you're on the road for any length of time, you're going to be stressed a little bit. Take that into consideration. Turn on the tunes. Make sure you don't miss orders. Get your program running. Make your Dash experience worth it for you. Try and relax. Try and get those orders out in a timely fashion. As always, make sure the customer's happy. Like, subscribe. People get sick of hearing that, but please like, subscribe. This, this is a new thing for me. See you on the next one, guys. Keep hustling. Stay safe out there. DoorDasher Ray Ray, out. Corn power! Oh, yeah.